So this is a Dwarf Labs magnetically attached filter holder. It came with my Kickstarter Dwarf um, telescope. If you buy the deluxe edition, you get one of these along with some solar filters and so forth. This is the Dwarf Lab provided neutral density 1 million solar filter. And so if you want to observe the sun, for example, you screw a solar filter onto the telephoto and the wide angle view. You snap this on your telescope and you're ready to go. So these filters are standard 1.25 inch filters. They're typically used inside of telescope eyepieces. Um, you know, so if you had a one of these, this is a uh, SV Boney ultra high contrast. So it basically blocks out some city light and um, city glow. So you know, something you, you buy a standard third party filter, they should screw in here and they should also screw into telescope eyepieces. So I have here an SV Boney telescope eyepiece, and this fits you know, very well into the SV Boney, which you'd expect because the same people make the filter and the um, eyepiece. But even like this Celestron, it's a little bit looser there, but when you screw it in, it holds it in and screws it in and so forth. So there's a little bit of tolerances. You can make it a little smaller, a little bigger, but generally um, any filter that's the 1.25 filter, and they are um, 28.5 millimeter by 0.6 thread pitch, should fit and attach and screw into these guys. Um, now why I'm making this video to talk about this is that I make these 3D printed um, Batonov focusing masks and I have them resin printed and they have threads on them and it's, you know, it's getting close to the tolerances of my printer but you can see that these guys will screw in to the filter here and so you have to be careful because the threads are made out of plastic but you can you know, screw them in. I recommend you do know, you know and you just just a half a turn or so to hold it in, and it screws in and holds in just fine. Now in the last couple of weeks, I've heard from several people that these guys aren't screwing in. They're you know falling in and falling out. Um, and it's fine if it's pointing upright because gravity will hold it in place. But then I saw some notices that people were having third-party filters like um, SV Boney dual band filters that they'd stick in and they'd just fall out, they wouldn't hold. So I contacted Dwarf and they said that they'd received complaints that some of the filters were going too tight here. So they made a change, apparently made the tolerances a little bigger, and in my opinion they made it too big because now third-party filters are not attaching. So this is a video sent to me by someone from the Dwarf users group on Facebook. Um, you can see here when they screw in the Dwarf Lab provided UHC filter, it does screw in, but it wiggles around a little bit. Um, but it will hold it in place. However, they have a ZWO dual band filter, and that just doesn't catch in these threads at all. So this is what it looks like if you have the larger thread size um, in your Dwarf Lab filter holder. So if you've received one of these guys and you have a third-party filter that doesn't fit or doesn't screw into it, um, you should probably contact Dwarf Lab Tech Support um, because in my opinion their new filter holder that they're shipping does not match industry specifications. It's not within tolerances so that all these third-party filters work. But that's your PSA for the week is there's two different sizes for the threadings on this filter holder now. Um, and depending on when it was shipped, you may have gotten a different thread sizing that's just slightly out of tolerances.